Hey everyone, Miss Squares here. Today for our theory lesson, we're gonna review a little bit of rhythm writing in our different time signatures. So let's go ahead and title your page, Rhythm Writing. If you're not sure how to spell, just check the board. With, if you have space on that top line, just continue on. I just don't have enough space on my iPad here. Time signatures. Yes, make sure you have that. Oops, make sure you have that written down. That is our title for today. That means that we're going to be practicing how to label our different counts just as a review, but we're also going to review using them in our different time signatures. So right now we're going to write down our different notes. So as you know, a whole note looks like this. It's just an open circle. Go ahead and write this down. It is good to know. And it takes up four beats. Our half note, and these are all the ones that are making sound, remember, it takes up two beats. And last one that we're gonna use for today is going to be our quarter note, and it takes up one beat. On the other end, we have our rest. So for that whole note, it has a companion that is silent. It is our whole rest. And it looks like a hole in the ground. So you have the line on the top, and then the box is underneath that line. Next, we have our half rest. It kind of looks like a hat. This time the box is on top. And then lastly, we have our quarter rest and it looks like a Z followed by a C underneath. So this is good to have because as we are filling in writing our different counts, you're gonna need to know how much each one of these is going to take up, how many beats each one of these notes. So let's go ahead, for today we're just going to be using our rhythm staff. We don't need to write out a full staff, so go ahead and write a rhythm staff that looks like this. It's just a straight line with the two bar lines on each side. The first time signature we're gonna start with is four, four. So four on the top, four on the bottom. That means that top, no top number tells us how many beats are in the measure, and that bottom number tells us what type of note receives the beat. If it's a four on the bottom, we know that the quarter note is gonna receive the beat. And that is gonna be all of our examples that we're going over for today. We'll do those other numbers on a different day. But for this one, we know that there are four beats total. So one example could be a whole note. If I had a whole note, it takes up four beats, which means that nothing else can fit in that measure because all four beats are already taken up by that whole note. So when we label, it needs to be one, dash, two, dash, three, dash, four. That lets us know that it is taking up all four of those beats. Let's do another example. Let's draw our rhythm staff, just like this. We're gonna keep it at four, four. So as we know, a half note takes up two beats. So let's say I wanna do a half note first. Remember, every measure starts with number one, so the half note is gonna take up one dash two. And then for the second half of the measure, I wanna do some quarter notes. So let's do two quarter notes, just like this. One, two, two quarter notes. Well, number one and number two of that measure have already been accounted for. So now the next number is gonna be three. And then that last quarter note is going to be four. And remember, we're not using parentheses yet, because that is only for our rest counts. Let's go ahead and we're gonna use some of those rests now. Let's mix them up a little bit. Still using four, four for now. So this time I'd like to start with a half rest. So kind of the same as this other measure right ahead, ahead but this time it's gonna be the rest. So the numbers are going to be the same. It's still gonna be one dash two because it takes up two beats. It's a half rest. And up here we know in our chart, two beats. But this time, because it's a silent note, we have to put those parentheses. Now, because it is only one symbol, which is a half rest, it only gets one set of parentheses. However, if I were to do two quarter rest like this, those are two separate beats of silence. So this time when we label those numbers, they each need to get their own set of parentheses. 
just like that. So make sure you have this written down. These two measures are the same in that the rhythms look the same, but one makes sound and the other is silent. Now I'd like to move on to a different time signature. So make sure you have all your 4-4 four, four examples written down. And that's just a few different uh, combinations that we can do. Obviously there's a lot more with quarter notes, quarter rest, half notes, half rest, but if you have a whole note and you're in 4-4 four, four time, that's pretty much all you're gonna fit in that measure. <laughs> So let's move on. So now I'd like to try a few examples in 2-4. So go ahead and draw another rhythm staff. Let's have a bar line in the center here so we can do two measures at a time. So now you have one measure right here and one measure right here. I have that written down. We're gonna put our time signature here in the beginning. So two, four. The bottom number is still going to be four, which means the quarter note receives the beat. Top number is two, which means in each one of these measures, so this measure right here and this measure right here, they're only going to have two beats. So there's not going to be any threes or fours, only two. One, two, one, two, one, two, over and over and over until you get to that double bar line. So let's go ahead and let's just do a measure of quarter notes. And then the next second measure is gonna be a measure of quarter rest. So this first one, let's do our two quarter notes. One, two. When we label, we always start with one. And this one is obviously gonna be two. Now in the second measure, oh look, here's a bar line. When we hit that bar line, it means repeat the number. Stop the number that you're on. Next number, brand new measure, it's gonna start with one. So I'm gonna draw in my quarter rest, just like this. This quarter rest, because it's a new measure, is gonna start on beat one. And as always, it has to have those parentheses because it's a rest count. Same thing with this one over here, number two. It gets its own set of parentheses because it's its own note. Let's do another example of two, four time. This time we're gonna mix them just a little bit. So same thing, make sure you do one line across. We're gonna have two separate measures. Now, we could also use our half notes in these measures because they take up two beats. And each measure, as we know, can only hold two beats. So could we do a whole note? No, right? Because a whole note takes up four beats. And because we're in two, four time, there's not enough room to put that whole note in. So let's go ahead, let's do this first measure. It's gonna be a half note. So now we know it takes up those two beats, one dash two. And that's all that measure has room for because look, we have a double, or not a double bar line, sorry, just a regular bar line, which means start over. This next measure, I'd like to do a quarter note and a quarter rest, so we get one of each. So because it's a new measure, because of that bar line, we're gonna start with one. Just like that, because we're in two four. Remember, you're only using numbers one and two. This rest is gonna be two, but you need those parentheses as always. So make sure you have those written down. We're gonna do one more time signature for today. It is gonna be our three four. So go ahead and draw. We're gonna do this in two measures as well. Put in your time signature at the beginning. Three is on top, four is on bottom, which means that there are gonna be three beats in every measure. So tell me this, can we still use, can we use a whole note in three, four time? No, right, because you need four on top in order to fit that whole note in. So we can't use a whole note, but we can use half notes and quarter notes because they're smaller than three. So every measure is gonna have three beats. Let's do this first measure as just a couple of quarter notes. Let's do a quarter rest on beat three, just like that. So when we label it, we're gonna start with one, as always. Second one is gonna be two, and then that quarter rest is gonna be beat three, but you need those parentheses. Now we have our bar line, which means we start over counting. Let's start this time with a half note. And then, so we will label this one dash two, right? Because start of a new measure starts with one. 
we have room for one more beat. We can either do a quarter note or a quarter rest. That's all that can fit. So let's go ahead and let's do a quarter note. And then we're gonna label that with a three. All right, one more example for today, everybody. Go ahead and draw this rhythm staff just like this. We're still gonna be in three, four time. I'd like to do, uh, let's see, let's start with a half note, just like we did in that other measure, but this time I want a quarter rest on that third beat. So when we label one dash two, Three, it's gonna look the same as that measure, but that rest, it needs a parentheses. That's right, and it gets its own set because it's its own musical symbol. Last example for today, we're gonna to start with a quarter note, which we know takes up one beat. We already passed that bar line, which means we start over, so it has to be one. And then I'd like to do a half rest. So it looks like this, the box is on top, it looks like a hat. And we're gonna label, we know that it takes up two beats, but what beat does it start on? We already used beat one, so the next number has to be two, just like that. And it takes up two beats, so what's the second, what's the next note after two? Three, very good. And as always, that rest needs those parentheses. So that's kind of, uh, how we're going to be practicing our rhythm writing with our different time signatures. Remember, the most important thing, put a star, is that top number. Because it's going to tell you how many beats are in each measure. So it's going to tell you which numbers to use. Equals which numbers, you just do a little number sign, it's easier to use. The bottom number for now is going to remain a four, but always double check just in case. But the majority of the music that we're gonna be playing is gonna have a four on the bottom. If it doesn't, we'll let you know. So if I have a time signature four, four, write this down. The numbers that we're going to use in our measure are going to be one, two, three, four. If I have the time signature of two, four, let's do two measures for this one, just like we practiced. The numbers I'm going to use are one, two, one, two. There are either notes or rest, but either if you're using a rest, you just know that you gotta add those parentheses. And the last example for today is gonna be three, four, and those numbers that I'm going to use are one, two, three, one, two, three. It's always gonna be that top number. So make sure that you're double checking that top number. Make sure you know which numbers you need to use. Remember, when you hit that bar line, you gotta start over. And every measure starts with a number one. So keep up the good work. That's all the theory I have for today. Make sure you submit this to your assignment. Until next time, bye everybody.